I made the mistake of going to the auto parts store and getting a regular everyday harmonic balancer puller. When what it calls for is a Chrysler harmonic puller. And I thought, this ain't no Chrysler. Hey YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. This is Dad Who Does. This is part of my continuing series on the 5.3 liter Gen 4 LS Rebuild. I'm rebuilding this engine because I had a bad lifter in the number eight cylinder. Today, I'm gonna to be taking off the engine accessories. And when I say accessories, think of everything that's driven by the accessory belt, also called V-belt or serpentine belt. So that is the water pump, the alternator, the power steering pump, and then I also have to take off pulleys, the power steering pulley and the harmonic balancer pulley. When all that's done, finally, I'll take off the timing cover. That's what protects the timing chain, timing sprocket, et cetera. And I run into a lot of problems along the way. Complications arose, ensued, were overcome. Stick around and I'll show you how I do it. We're gonna take off our serpentine belt here. All right, time to mess this sucker up. I just want to point out that this has some notches in it from when I tried to use a three-armed puller to pull this off. So uh, sadly, that was the wrong tool for the job. And uh, lesson learned. I had to go out and buy a $22 new pulley. Whoopsies. Okay, time to take off the harmonic stabilizer. I, uh... I made the mistake of going to the auto parts store and getting a regular everyday harmonic balancer puller. When what it calls for is a Chrysler harmonic puller. And I thought, this ain't no Chrysler. Man, this is an LS engine. Chevy small block, baby. I need a Chevy or regular. And that was the wrong answer. No, I, you need a Chrysler puller. So, uh... We finally got what we needed here, and it fits. There we go. Try this three quarter. Three quarter it is, all right. Bada bing, bada boom. No! No! Finally! All right, time to crack off the timing cover plate. Before you take off the timing cover, do not forget to take the two bolts out of the bottom of the oil pan in the very front. If you forgot to do that and you ripped this thing open the way I just did, you messed up. Ooh. Very nice. 
Okay, well that's it for today, folks. This is part of a multi-part series, so please click on the link in the description to take you to the next video in this series. We hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you got something out of this, please remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Dad Who Does.